Hello, and welcome back to my Vampire Survivors series, where I try to unlock all of the things. Today, I'm going to be playing Katha, gaining 1% luck every single level, and getting an Academy Badge at level 30. Um, yeah, I don't know, we're going to, we're going to see what we can do here, I mean... The build is going to be pretty typical, I would say. A nice little crit build. The only concern is that uh, my character's starting weapon is pretty bad. So, I'm a little bit scared that I might just, like, die immediately. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh... Okay. I got five kills. Um, okay, <laughs> it's so bad, dude, it's so bad. Listen, I think the idea of this character is sweet, but like, why is, why are they so bad? I can't kill enemies. Okay. Fine, I'll take cross, literally any weapon. I will take any weapon that I can just to actually do damage. But I'm just gonna die. Okay. Okay, this is this is bad. This is bad. You know what? This worked out for me when I was playing um Eleanor, so I'm gonna take the Laurel. And we're gonna see We're gonna see how it goes. We can afford to take like a few less crit weapons, right? I kind of wish I didn't have the cross now, because the cross is, like, one of the worst. What? What? Crit? Weapons? <laughs> um, just because it already can crit, right? I've talked about this before. It's like, the weapons that can already crit are worse with this arcana, because their damage is meant to scale based on the fact that they can crit. Right. So they just get less benefit from it. Anyways. That is not important right now. Candy box. Okay. Um. I mean, S. Kizabor can crit. Still can victory sword though. Victory sword's pretty good. I, mean, I feel like this is gonna be pretty much the same run as Maruto. Maybe that's okay. Maybe it's okay to basically have the same exact run <laughs> as Maruto. Why not? I mean, I'm about to die, so it's not like it'll matter. I'm legit dead in like two seconds. Give me Laurel. Oh! And I immediately use the Laurel. Is there floor chicken on the ground? Nope. Okay, I got a Laurel. I'm dead. Okay. We're gonna have to figure something out here. We're gonna have to figure something out. So, I don't think I can take this. I forgot about Fuula Fuula. I mean, I don't want this to be like the same exact build as Maruto, but I might have to. The beginning isn't good. It just increases the damage slightly. All right, we'll take Divine Bloodline. I don't want it. I don't like it, but we're taking it. It's not helping. Now it's helping. But barely. Because now I'm just going to, like, die. Okay, well, what the frig, man? It's like the same exact run. <laughs> it's fine, whatever. 
I'm about to die, actually. Spooky. Okay, I'm dead. Now, I've got a lot of max health. So hopefully I should be good to go for the rest of the run, right? Right? That's how that works. Spellbinder? I don't know if Spellbinder's good. What do I even want the rest of my build to be? I guess Fula Fulu is good. And then Axe and... I mean, I can take Cross. Cross is good. I don't think Spellbinder matters. I definitely want the Tome. I need... Um... And a Labrador and Hollow Heart. So that's three. I could take Spinach. And something else. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Pomerola wouldn't be good, would it? That's crazy. Pomo Rolo probably wouldn't be good, but it is an option, I suppose. Man, I feel like such a clown. I wish this character was useful. Like, like their passive is so interesting, the luck plus 1%, and like their weapon is kind of cool. It just doesn't do damage, bro. Like... I swear, if this thing did more damage, it would be so good, right? Because, literally, you know, early on in the game, you could just use it to kill the enemies, even in inverse mode. Because the cooldown is so long, so it's not like it matters that it would one-shot enemies, right? But instead, they just made it, like, basically useless. I don't even know if the Evolved weapon does anything either, to be honest. I kind of feel like this weapon just isn't good. I pressed right click, so hopefully that selected the Candle Operador. I wanted to take the Spinach, but not a big deal. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever, it's not really a big deal. You know, at the end of the day, some characters are going to be bad, some characters are going to be good. And, you know, I'm going to like more characters than others. That's just how it goes, right? Not a big deal. This character, definitely on my dislike. And more spoil alerts for the tier list, I suppose. Alright, well... We've got a lot of our weapons, and the flash arrow is actually maxed out, which is funny. Too bad, I think we need... I think we need both the Clover and the Bracer to evolve this. Is it in the Grimoire? It is, yeah. We need both. So. It's gonna be a minute before we can actually get that. I think the uh, whip evolving the bloody tear will be really good. Should give us a little bit more healing. I mean, obviously it'll give us healing. Should give us a little bit more safety. Since right now I'm like pretty low on health, even though I have a lot of max health. So like, relatively speaking, it's not that bad. It's still worrying, right? So one of those things which like, I would prefer to actually have Full health and not be at like 5%. But also. Okay, it's maxed out, so I just need to find Hollow Heart. I also don't even know if this chest will actually give me a weapon evolution. It probably won't. I just keep upgrading the tome, I guess. I mean, you can't go wrong with the tome. 
So, you know what? I forgot I can take duplicator. Duplicator would probably be good. I'll probably end up taking that, but I was thinking maybe I'll just take the wings. The wings aren't actually that good, but like... Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say the wings aren't actually that good, but um... I don't know, they're kind of funny with this character, I think. Like, lore accurate. I don't know. Alright, well, we're looking for Hollow Heart and then Duplicator, probably. Either that, or if I end up finding Torona's box or something, I'll probably take it. Because Duplicator... It's not that big of a deal. I mean, neither is Torona's box, I guess, but... Torona's box is just cool, because it gives you so many stats. I like it. Alright. I think we've managed to potentially stabilize this run. Although, you know, I'm still relatively low on health. But I'm also at, you know, 2000 max HP, so... What does that really mean? I don't know. Okay, I'll take the duplicator. Now we just need Hollow Heart. Hollow Heart and we're all good. I also need to get the, um... I need to make sure that I get the Arcana that actually allows us to crit with our weapons. Because right now I'm basically just relying on retaliatory damage. And the Divine Bloodline damage with the Vento Sacro. Which, don't get me wrong pretty reliable, but it's not what I came here to do, you know? Came here to get some critical hits, and uh, just the vibe is not, it's not mashing. I need hollow heart, so I can't take any of this. All of those would have been good to take. I think even Night Sword. I think Night Sword crits in its base form. Maybe it doesn't actually. What weapon am I looking for? I guess the axe, right? The axe and then something else. I don't even remember. I think I had something in mind, but I don't remember what it was. Okay. Gold fever is something. Okay, well, let's take the axe. Look at how much gold I'm getting, man. I don't really know what to say. This run is kind of like... It's kind of just a waiting room, right? I'm sitting here like, alright, well... We've got Divine Bloodline again with Vento Sacro. And a ton of max HP. I'm, I'm trying to get to something interesting, but... The game's not giving it to me. No Hollow Heart. No... I guess that's really all I'm waiting for. Okay, there we go open this. Got nothing in it. That's fine. I knew that would happen. Now we open this. It's got nothing in it. Okay, that's that's sad. No evolution. Now we pick up the Academy Badge. And we can be on our merry way. Let's go down here. Get the uh, I guess the armor. I forgot the Academy Badge is actually not even close to here. So we'll probably end up maxing out the Academy Badge before we even get to where it normally spawns. I 
which is fine. There's the armor. We killed the mantises instantly. Bento Sacker is kind of a crazy weapon. <laughs> like, it's actually just gross. The amount of damage that you can do. With the, if you have a ton of HP from Divine Bloodline. It's crazy. Oh, here's another fish. Or another fish. Another chest. There's lots of fish here. I don't know why I would say there's another one when there are so many. So. Now we're going to go look for Clover. Oh, I guess the crown's up here, right? So we can go ahead and get that right now. Yeah, let's level back. I guess maybe we shouldn't have done that because then it could end up taking away from the bloody tear evolution. It could end up stealing it, but whatever. Too late now to f say sorry, as they say. Actually, is that the lyric of the song? Or is the lyric, is it too late now to say sorry? I don't know if it's like a... I don't know which type of song it's supposed to be. Who was the toxic one in that relationship? That's what I don't know. Oh my god, how many clovers are there over there? Did we get the forbidden four clovers? I'm pretty sure it's actually possible to get five. Just based on like the formation that they made. But I don't know. I'm curious. Oh, it's only three. That's sad. Whatever. Alright. Got that out of the way. Keep leveling up our weapons. We need some more chests, man. All of our chest monsters are not spawning. Okay. Level up the clover. Alright, once we get that arcana that lets us crit, we're going to be doing so much damage. Believe it. The famous ninja master once said that. I don't know, I, um, I'm not, like, I'm not a Naruto hater, but I'm definitely not a Naruto fan. I watched it when I was a kid, and there's definitely some really cool stuff in there, but, I don't know, bro. Something happened in that series. It's one of those things where, like, you know, the reason why Naruto and Dragon Ball Z, or uh, Dragon Ball, I guess in particular, so popular, I feel like is partly due to their simplicity. Um, not that they were like simple, but you know, it wasn't about like power ups and transformations and all that. It was about like just like cool, interesting fights and like creativity in that sense. And then, you know, obviously Dragon Ball became Dragon Ball Z, became Dragon Ball Super. We, of course, don't talk about GT. And it became all about, like, the transformations and power-ups and all that stuff. And it's like, okay, whatever. The same thing kind of happened with Naruto. And it's just like, this is meh. I just can't bring myself to care about it. Nice. Maybe I just don't get it. Maybe I'm not the target demographic, huh? God, look at how fast they are. Is that because the projectile speed? Or is that because of movement speed? That the dudes are so fast. That's insane. Why are they so fast? There's no way that's projectile speed. That has to be based on movement speed. Jesus. They are zooming. 
Okay. Anyways, I don't really want to talk because I'm a bleach kind of guy. Bleach the anime. Which is somewhat similar. It kind of started off more as like a simple show about like fighting ghosts, essentially. And it became a lot about like intrigue and like politics and transformations and power-ups. So, meh. Maybe I'm just hypocritical. Maybe I am a, just a hater. Bleach is the best, though. Alright, cool. We've leveled up everything off of that. Alright, how much max health do we have? 9,200. And we have two re revives. So, don't know if we're going to be dying anytime soon. There's that. Weapon evolved. Somehow Bloody Tear ended up being the last weapon that we evolved, which is just glorious. Okay, so we're just shooting arrows constantly. That's, that's our new thing. Our new weapon just shoots arrows all the time. And that's cool, I guess, but it's not, like, impressive or anything. I'm kind of curious, like, what kinds of shows different people grew up watching and how it influenced them. I don't know. I... I don't actually know what I watched growing up as a kid. Because, like, it wasn't one of those things where I would turn on the TV and, like, sit in front of it. Like, yeah, I watch TV sometimes, but honestly, my parents were pretty big gamers, so that's what I spent a decent amount of my time doing. Just playing video games. Or just, like, being on the internet, I guess. I don't know, but I mean, that being said, I think one of my favorite shows that I ever watched when I was growing up was Monk. I don't think I've talked about it before. If I have, then I'll just talk about it again, because I like it a lot. I think it's a really cool show. I never really, you know, I didn't watch it like season to season, every episode of every season, but I'd watch it every once in a while, you know, we would record episodes and are like, I, don't know, I guess it was a DVR? I don't know if that's a specific system, but whatever our, you know, home recording system was, we would record it on there and, um, watch it every once in a while. And if you're unfamiliar with the show, which is very sad, but if you are, um, it's basically about this detective who used to be, you know, with the police force in some capacity. I don't know what the official title was, but he was, he was a detective. And, you know, he put a lot of criminals in jail because he was a really gifted investigator. And then at one point in time, he was targeted by a criminal and they blew up his car. But the problem was that when the car blew up, it wasn't him that was inside. It was his wife. And so after that, he ends up going like, you know, with a bunch of mental health problems. He becomes like super depressed, I guess. And like... He leaves the police force, and then... Oh my god, I'm getting so much help from the Sandys. Um, <laughs> he leaves the police force, and then... Eventually, he ends up becoming, like, a private detective who helps them out, and that's, like, kind of the point of the show. Um, but I think, like, looking back... Definitely one of the most interesting parts of that show... Is just the fact that they... Were tackling, like, mental health kind of stuff... I don't feel like it was probably very normal for shows back then. I mean, keep in mind, this was, like, you know, early 2000s, right? And, like, one of the major points of the show is him dealing with the loss of his wife, right? Um, like, he has a therapist that he goes to. He has, like, an assistant who I guess is supposed to help him with his special... I don't want to say special needs, but you get the idea, maybe. Because he has, like, OCD. 
and he's like super germaphobic or whatever. So, anyways, it's a really cool show. Um, the characters are great. You know, they keep the same general cast of characters over the course of the show. I think, you know, not to spoil too much, but I will spoil a little bit. His assistant ends up changing partway through. His, um, I think his therapist changes, but I don't think, I don't know if it's a case of like his therapist is a different character or if it's a different actor. I think it might be the latter, where it's just a different actor and it's meant to be the same character. Um, and then there's like the big bad villain of the show, which is to say, who blew up his car with an explosive. It, it was in fact a bomb, I was not exaggerating when I said, you know, it, it blew up, it was literally, it got blown up by a bomb. <laughs> um, and, you know, I think that's a decent focal point of the show, I don't know. Obviously, I haven't seen the show in a while, and um, even when I was watching it, it's not like I watched episode to episode, like I said earlier, so. I don't know what the big overarching plot is, but um, it's cool. It's a cool little, little show, I like it. Um, and the reason why I brought that up is because, like, you know, I think that what you kind of consume and watch growing up can definitely heavily influence your interests as you get older. And I want to say that nowadays I'm super into, like, mystery and detective-type games. And I don't know if it's because of Monk, but it might be, like, an early sign that that would be something that I was interested in. Um, I also watched a decent amount of, like, Criminal Minds, but that was really only at my grandparents, so, like, I, you know, for, like, Christmas or whatever, I would go visit my grandparents who lived, like, an hour, two hours away, actually, and, um, when I was there, I'd watch Criminal Minds, and that show's really cool, again, not a show I watched season to season, I couldn't really keep up with all the different characters and storylines, because... You know, whenever I'd watch it, it would just be, like, random reruns, and so it would be, like, different seasons all jumbled together. But that show was really cool. I think it just ended recently, right? Maybe? I was talking to one of my coworkers about it. I think she was telling me that it ended recently. But, um, that show's great. Basically, just a show about some FBI investigators. They go around the country catching, I think... In general, I think there's serial killers. I don't know if there's other crime cases, but it's pretty much like 99% of the time there's serial killers. Which, um, I don't know how realistic that is. <laughs> it doesn't feel like there's a ton of serial killers in the US, but maybe that's because they catch them all the time. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that show's really cool. Interesting characters. I mean, that's really an important part of like any show, right? The characters have to be somewhat interesting, probably. Otherwise, it's like, nobody will want to watch it. I don't know. Um, another show, actually, that I liked watching. This is more recent, like, probably 2015-ish. Around there. I don't actually... You know, it might actually have been a lot earlier than that. 2013. I don't remember when the show aired. You can look it up after this. It was Elementary. So, Elementary was another Sherlock Holmes show. Um, I never watched Sherlock with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, so I can't really compare the two. But I think Elementary was really interesting because it kind of felt like a different approach, maybe. Like, I, I don't know. I've never really consumed Sherlock Holmes. I read a little bit of, like, the first publication because at one point in time I was like, you know what, I'm going to read all the Sherlock Holmes books because... That's just my personality. He's like, yeah, I'm going to do a bunch of, like, whatever. This massive series that takes 20 years to finish. I'm going to finish all of it. And then I get through, like, one chapter and I'm done. Um, I think I've mentioned that before. But anyways, I did the same thing with Sherlock Holmes. So I'm, I'm not exactly an authority on the subject. But um, anyways, point I'm trying to get across. The elementary is really cool. It's interesting. It feels like a different take and a different tone on the characters. Um, in fact, Watson is played by Lucy Liu, so it's not even it's not even a dude. It's a female Watson, which is cool. And she she does a great job, obviously. Um, 
Sherlock Holmes also does a great job. I don't know the actor that plays him. <laughs> I've never seen him in literally anything else. I've never heard of him before. But he's he's good in it. Um, I guess I won't spoil too much, but yeah. That show is nice. And again, it's another detective show. I don't know what the deal is. I watched a few episodes of Psych at one point. That was cool. I didn't, I didn't really get into it, though. Um, I'm trying to think of other shows that, like, I was really into that I watched. Honestly, I can't think of anything. I mean, like, one that kind of comes to mind, I guess, is, like, Whose Line? Whose Line is that anyways? Um, the original show, of course, not the new one. Although, I don't know, the new one's probably fine. I, I haven't seen it. But it has, like, most of the same people on it, so... I'm sure it's fine. Anyways. <laughs> That's not important. Uh, what is important is that... That was one of the shows that I... Watched quite a bit of. That was... Pretty cool. You know, I liked it. It was funny, humorous. Um... I don't know. I mean, I guess I watched, like... Oh, you know what? Okay, no. Futurama. Futurama was a show that I really liked. Again, I didn't watch it, like, episode to episode, season to season. But, you know, I'd watch it whenever I would watch it, and that show's good. Um, I kind of wish that I could watch it all the way through, but I'm lazy. I can barely watch, like, a 13-episode season of anime all the way through, so I doubt I could watch Futurama. But... My understanding is that what happened with that is that a decent number of the like OG writers for The Simpsons went to work on Futurama. And I think that's why some people say that like Simpsons became trash and Futurama was good. <laughs> it's because the writers left and made their own show or a different show. I don't know the level of validity to that. I can't speak to it, but. I can't say that Futurama's sick. It's a good show. I mean, Simpsons was fine. You know, I watched a decent number of that, I guess. I watched, like, the Halloween specials. I watched the movie, I want to say. Um, what was the Simpsons Halloween special? It was, like, Treehouse of Horrors, I think, right? Those were cool. Um, I mean, I watched Family Guy and American Dad, I guess. Meh. They're, they're fine. I mean, I liked them at the time, obviously. I think looking back, like, they're okay. There's some there's some hoots and there's some hollers. Uh, a show that I really want to get into, but I don't have anywhere to watch it, and again, I'm lazy, is actually South Park. Which may seem surprising that I actually haven't seen South Park, but I really haven't. Like, I don't even know if I've seen a single episode all the way through. But my parents were actually super into South Park, which may explain some things if you <laughs> have some ideas about me and what I'm like. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's another one of the shows, like, I don't want to say that it's similar to Family Guy and whatnot, because, like, I think that would be kind of disrespectful <laughs> to South Park. Um, you know, not to say that Family Guy's bad, but it's just, like, what they're doing is, like, two completely different things. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it is, like, in a similar vein, I guess, where it's, like, an adult-oriented animated show. And, um, I don't know. I mean, it's one of the classics for a reason. It's still, ha like, it's still going on, right? I don't think that's a coincidence that it's still going on and that people are still watching it and still liking it. I mean, the South Park games, right? Like, stick of, stick of truth and then fractured but whole. You know, it's like... Those games were still quite popular when they came out. Um, and I think that really speaks to the South Park IP and its reputation. So, that's a show that I kind of wish that I could get into more. Anyways, I don't know. That was a, a nice way to kill 10 minutes of time. <laughs> Just talking about random shows that 
a lot of people probably don't care about. Okay, actually, here's something. I did watch the first few seasons of Dexter. And that's, you know, another show that is kind of like a, um, a detective is show. It's like, you know, it is a detective show, but it's also very different from most detective shows, obviously, if you've seen it. Right? It's, um... It's about a guy who is a, a killer, and so he's trying to avoid the cops, but he's also trying to catch other killers, because those are the people that he kills. Right? I mean, if you know anything about Dexter, you probably know that already. That's, like, the big the point of the show, is that couldn't help but kill people because that's like his mental whatever but his dad wanted to teach him like if he has to then you might as well use it to kill like bad people so he's trying to catch other serial killers and murderers and criminals in the town while also avoiding getting caught so it's kind of an interesting concept and i did watch the first few seasons of that show as well um I ended up dropping at some point. I dropped it before it got bad. So, let's roll. Um, House MD. That's another show that I liked. Uh, I've seen... Some episodes of it. I mean, there's one summer uh, when I was in school that I would stay up until like 5am watching random episodes. I don't know if I made it past season 1. I might have watched past season 1. I can't really remember. But, um, you know, that's another one of those shows that's, like, a detective-ish show. It's just they're detecting, like, illnesses instead of murders. Um, yeah, House MD's great. For sure, it's like... Oh my god, dude, what the... I guess it's because of all the luck that I have, right? I don't want Muramasa. That will kill me instantly. Um... I don't know, whatever. I don't want to take Murma, so... I said that already. Okay, we'll just take this. Um... I don't remember what I was saying. I don't think it was important. House MD, some bad House MD. House MD's cool, I like it. Um... Yeah, detective stuff. It's nice, just mystery. I think, I mean, all of it goes back to, I think, like, my brain, right? Like, I like using my brain in games and shows. It just, it's just fun. It's cool. Even if I don't really get it, it's just fun to, like, see it unfold, the mysteries. I don't know. That's all I got. Um, like Death Note. Death Note's one of my favorite anime. And, you know, it's got that, like, mind game element to it. Which I think is super entertaining. Um, I, mean, I guess I didn't really talk about anime, did I? Like, really, that's... That made up a decent portion of what I watched when I was younger. Um, it wasn't, like, a crazy amount. Because I'm, I'm really not, like... <laughs> I'm really not somebody that has seen a lot of anime, to be honest. Um, half the episodes that I've seen in my life have probably been... More than half, honestly. I've probably just been Naruto, One Piece, and Bleach. Because, like, I watched... Like, 500 episodes of One Piece. I watched however many episodes of Naruto. I watched all of them. Okay. Even the fillers. I watched all of those. And then I also watched, um, like, I want to say, like, 100-something episodes to Bleach. So, you know, in total, that was probably almost a 1,000 episodes, if not a 1,000 episodes, of those three shonen. And that takes a lot of time. <laughs> like, I mean, I remember when I was younger, I literally used to wake up early because I wanted to watch One Piece that bad. I would wake up early, get onto my laptop, watch One Piece, and I would skip the first like four minutes of the episode. 
because a lot of the time the first couple minutes was recap but even then i would always skip like four or five minutes even if i was skipping like stuff that actually was happening <laughs> like like stuff that was actually new to the episode i would skip it just because like i just wanted to finish the episode faster um it was it was pretty crazy but I mean, hey, One Piece is cool. It's a classic for a reason, so... Respect. Anyways. Alright, I managed to fill, fill dead air for 15 minutes. That's... I'd call that a success. Um, dang, Thousand Edges did crazy DPS. Gross. Okay. Um, that's surprising, but... You know, I guess if it's bouncing around all over the place and there's like a bajillion enemies on screen. Fair enough. All right, well, that'll be it for me for today's episode. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you have a good day, good night, whenever, wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you next time where I'm going to be playing another character, narrowing it down, because I've only got three characters left to win with. Two of them might be easier than the others this one is gonna be tough but uh i'm sure we'll figure something out either way i will uh leave now and i hope to see you next time i'm out of here peace